Hello everybody, um, welcome to, uh, what the secret project kind of was. Um, I hinted at, uh, having two projects that I was working on during LEGO Lord of the Rings, and that was Estranged, Act 1, and this. Um, I finally got around to playing this, um, I rented this, or I rented this, wow, what the hell am I talking about? I bought this on Steam sales a while ago, um, the music is still kind of loud, isn't it? Let me turn the audio. Uh, Stop okay. playing oh. games. I heard you. It's already at 10. Anyways. But, what this is, is a kind of... It's an older game. Uh, you can tell by the resolution being at 800 by 600 and me not being able to even change the resolution in the video. Uh, in the video options, which is weird. But, um, it's, it's kind of like a... It's a third person game, I think. I think it's third person. It might be. F I think it's actually first person, this one, never mind. But it's a Cold War based game, as you can see, because the title is Cold War. Uh, and you're stuck behind enemy lines, and you have to make your own devices and weapons and escape to, like, a safe area. Or whatever. But the reason why I got this game is, it, is because not only is it an older game, so it might be a really fun game for its time, but. It reminded me a lot of Freedom Fighters. Uh, this might be a lot more arcade-ish than uh, Freedom Fighters. I can even tell by the lang or language, by the uh, the music. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. Um, what is this? You must finish each level without killing anyone. Finish each level without causing too many alarms. This is normal story mode. Try this one first. Yeah, I'm just gonna try this one. Uh, we'll go with easy, just in case. And I've never played this game before, so. Sergei has never steered me wrong, but there's a first time for everything. If his sources are off the mark, I could be flying halfway around the world and have nothing to show for it but a case of cheap vodka that tastes like lighter fluid, and cigarettes that smell like old varnish. Hard to believe. The peacenik perestroika happy president of the USSR meeting covertly with the CIA. In Moscow's mausoleum, no less. What the hell is that about? It's true. It could make an interesting story. Well, story or no story, I hope at the very least this isn't as dangerous as that assignment in Berlin. If Eastern Europe is that tough, I hate to think of the kind of trouble I could run into in the Soviet Union. So I guess we're a reporter, slash journalist or whatever, cause trouble and get caught. Comrade Barinsky, I'm afraid I have bad news to report. What happened? It's about Sonia Yakovleva. She's working for us at the... I know who she is. Get on with it. Yes, of course. Well, comrade, our people have found that she has arranged a meeting with Grushka, head of the presidential guards. A secret meeting. And it was rumored that the president himself may attend. The president? Only Grushka could have arranged for the president to attend. You know how persistent he can be. I do. Perhaps we should delay the operation, or maybe cancel it altogether. Yakovleva must suspect something. She could divulge everything to the president and Grushkov. The operation will take place as scheduled. This is an unexpected eventuality, but one that simply requires a bit of improvisation. We know about the meeting. But they do not realize that their secret rendezvous has been discovered. That is to our advantage. You mean to eliminate them? Yes, but in a way that makes it look as if it is Grushkov and Yakovleva who have been planning some nefarious scheme. The president must believe that they are traitors. We 
the end, he must have complete faith in the KGB. Perhaps we could frame them. Make the President believe that Khrushchev and Yakovleva called a meeting to lead him into a trap. An assassination attempt, perhaps? It will be rather difficult to make anyone believe that. Yes, they are not typical assassins. A CIA assassin would come in handy here. CIA assassin? You may be onto something, Ivan. If the CIA were implicated in this matter, it would be a shock to the President and cause irreparable damage to Soviet-US relations. But we'll have a hard time to get a CIA assassin to attend that meeting. Really? And how about that American journalist bastard who stuck his nose in our Berlin operation? Matthew Carter, the reporter? Hey, his name's he Matthew. Doesn't work for the CIA. Says who? Now listen carefully. Oh boy, this is the longest intro ever. Here's your passport, Mr. Carter. Enjoy your stay in Moscow. Okay. Isn't this a cheerful place? Hey, an actual it cinematic castle look like cutscene from the game. Sergei said this meeting is supposed to take place in front of Lenin's casket, right in the middle of this mausoleum. Oh, it is third person. Check that. Use the W, S, A, and D keys and the mouse for basic movement. Okay, shift. Use the crouch. mouse wheel to change speed of movement. Use shift to switch to crawl mode. That's weird. You can also toggle this mode by pressing caps lock. I can, okay. Uh. Okay. So you, I don't like toggle. Toggle's stupid. Okay, so. Okay. Oh. When you can interact with an object, the action menu will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Enter the action menu by pressing and holding the right mouse button. Then you. Take out the guard without alerting him. How? Use shadows and obstacles to surprise him from behind. The stealth meter in the bottom right corner of the screen is very useful to determine how visible you are. Who is it? Could be rats. Uh. Hello? Oh! <laughs> That's it. Search the guard's pockets. I found some anesthetics, a gun, a oh, okay. plastic bottle. Anesthetics are very useful for prolonging the sleep. Okay. Sergey, I need the main entrance key. Why do you need it? Relax, I just forgot some stuff inside. I need to get it before my shift finishes. Don't forget to give it back to me. I'll be right here. I know, I know. Hmm, the main entrance key. I must get it, but I definitely don't want to kill him. So shooting is not an option. Maybe I can load my gun with something non-lethal. Hmm, plastic bottle, some standard bullets. I should be able to fashion some sort of rubber bullet from this junk. Man, I amaze myself with the things I come up with. That ability has saved my ass so many times I lost track. Press F2 to open the escape. Okay, um... Oh, that's cool, so... It shows the, the uh, recipe down here. Um this for with an ether will quietly and painlessly knock out an enemy so we need ether flash and rags it's a luring device uh, appliance parts and alarm clock 
and an ether mine, a can, and an ether flask. Assembly menu. Now let's make some rubber bullets using a plastic bottle and regular ammo. I did. So now what? Do I need to make more? There we go. Okay, so one we have a slingshot. Don't know. What, uh, okay. Uh, small med kit. We got a gun and we got a rubber bullet. So oh, knock him out. Search body. Let's go to one again. Oh, uh. Knock him out. I guess you can't really get out of this screen, huh? Okay, so we. Uh. Can't get past there. Damn. Get that key first. Yeah, but doesn't. Okay, so. Is it this way then? Oh, yeah, it's this way. Really? Oh, I, okay, I knocked him out. Whew. That went Got bad for me. Now let's go inside. I don't know why he was all the way over there. The running animation's weird as fuck. Got a lot of different controls. It's gonna take a while to get used to. And we have sprint exhaustion. Oh, great. I can't pass through this laser fence unnoticed. There must be some way to switch it off. I should check this guard room. There might be something interesting inside. Okay, so I found an alarm clock, which we can use for some of those devices. Found a tool bag. There were some Easter flasks, cans, rags, sweet. Found a tube. Collect tech points by picking up blueprints and other technical documents. Press F2 to open the assembly menu. So we can create an ether flask, and we can create an ether mine, which is cool. Um, in this screen, you may spend tech points in order to design blueprints for new gadgets. Once you've made the blueprint for a new gadget, you may assemble it using collected parts. When you've made at least three blueprints from the current gadget level, the next level is unlocked. Oh, okay, so to buy blueprints. Oh, so these are technically, oh, I didn't mean to make those. These are technically locked, right? So yeah, uh, how much does it tell you? Oh, we have 40 points, okay. It's good to know though. Um, Turn laser fence off. Got him. Some ammunition. 
we, okay, so we can grab the body. Okay, I don't think we can throw him though. But that will come in handy later in the game, I'm guessing. everything from here finally somebody's coming hello what's this that guy is definitely a soldier and there's the president himself but who's the girl there's time to identify the players later Sergei should be able to help when he looks at these pictures what the hell I've always been able to see through a cover-up but this is ridiculous no way this is my camera I better not point this at anyone got to see what it can do there that fire extinguisher is just what I need I'll just get a shot of that and see what happens what the happening? oh shit freeze hands up don't move I am pleased that you were not injured mr. president Borinsky what the hell is going on what is the meaning of this I'm saving your life, Mr. President. After all, that is my job. You see, we have discovered that Comrade Grushkov and Comrade Yakovlev are working for the CIA. They were planning to assassinate you. You lie! You're insane, Parinsky. How dare you make such an outrageous claim? Outrageous, Grushkov? Why? We have all the proof. You lured the president here and hired an American CIA assassin to kill him. This is madness. What assassin? Now, wait just a goddamn minute. I am no assassin. I was just... Just what, Mr. Carter? What were you doing hiding there? If you know my name, you know what I do for a living. I'm a reporter. I just came here to shoot some pictures. Shooting pictures, eh? And tell me, Mr. Carter, are all American cameras capable of that? It's just a camera, for God's sake. I don't know how... Enough! Mr. President, that camera is nothing of the sort. We have seen the plans for it in our intelligence reports. It is an assassin's weapon designed by the CIA. Take him. Fine. If this is some sort of super weapon and I shoot your picture, you'll end up like that fire extinguisher. What's it gonna be, Berinsky? Calm now, Mr. Carter. Be sensible. You are surrounded. If you surrender, you might still get out of this alive. Hey, Berinsky, say cheese. Get him! Fire! This way! Okay. So this game's gonna be very plot driven. What the hell is happening? Berinsky was right about this camera, but. Where the hell did it come from? Somebody obviously wanted to make it look like I wanted to kill the president. But why? And how in the hell did Berinsky know that I'd be here? Hmm. I can't get out the way I came in, that's for sure. What the hell am I gonna do now? I'm trapped. Activate the X-ray camera by pressing 7. Then press the left mouse button or the E key. You can also use the X hot key. Okay. Here we got the X ray camera. Now X to do what? How to put it away? Can we do that with every weapon? I'll have to avoid that laser beam. Uh. Oh, we can. Look at that. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, X is just the default for that. Oh, hi. I found a can.
Is this camera? Don't quite get the purpose of it. Locked. Wonderful. What? 